What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 most rare aquarium fish. And for this list, I made sure not to choose obvious things like an Asian arowana. But instead, I went through and took hours and hours looking through different sites to find you guys some amazing fish that you've probably never heard of. And these guys also have some crazy things about them. So stay tuned and let's get right into it. The first fish on this list is the rainbow or zebra pike. It's a type of cichlid that can be found in South America and it was just recently discovered so if you're able to land your hands on one of them you could be one of the only people in the world to have one and you could make some discoveries that are ended up in record books. A company in Asia just recently got six of these guys and what they did is they paid for an ultrasound to try to sex them in an attempt to breed them. I'm not sure if they were able to breed them yet, but the full video is on YouTube and it's pretty amazing to watch. Uh, to keep one of these, you're going to need a pretty big tank and you're going to need fast moving waters because they do come from fast moving rivers in South America. Uh, they get about 12 inches long, so I'd recommend a 200 gallon for one of them. But uh, to be honest, it's going to be really hard to find one considering how rare they are and the fact that they're $500 minimum if you're even able to find one. The second fish I chose is the ABI puffer or ABI puffer. Not exactly sure how to say the name, but this is a super rare breed of puffer fish that is completely freshwater. They grow to about 8 inches long and there's almost no information on the internet about these guys. And there's also no place to buy them on the entire internet. I found one site that had them listed for about $25. But uh, they're completely sold out, and who even knows if this site is legit or not. Uh, the video I got is from a friend on Reddit. His puffer is named Pogo, and these guys are absolutely incredible. You can just see him. He loves eating fiddler crabs, crayfish, anything like that. A super predatory puffer, and also a good size. Can live in maybe a 55-gallon, 40 breeder. And uh, yeah, I would really like to keep one of these guys in the future. The third fish on my list is another type of puffer. It is called the guinea fowl puffer or sapo puffer. And interestingly enough, this is actually a variety of the golden puffer, which is another really expensive and somewhat rare puffer fish. Only this variety is so much more rare. I mean, I have never seen one of these in my many years of going to pet stores, and it's even harder to find one online. I found this one site that had them for $600, and that's going to be the absolute minimum you're going to find one for. They get about 20 inches long and they need about a 200 gallon tank because they do swim a lot. But uh, these guys seem like an absolutely amazing pet. They have incredible eyesight, are super smart, and I'm sure you could do a live feeding with one of these guys too. The fourth fish on the list is the Red Gar. Now, these guys are insanely rare. I have seen a lot of people sell fake red gar. They're actually another variety of gar that looks red when they're young. And then when they get older, they'll lose that red color. But if you can find a true red gar, you will be one of the few people on earth to actually have one of these as a pet. Uh, they get an average of 52 inches long. So you're going to need a 1,000 gallon tank minimum. Uh, it's probably not even well suited for a tank. Let's be real. Gars are so long and not very agile. They can't really turn around in the tank, but they are very beautiful. And this is guy is going to run you $500 minimum. But beyond that, I mean, good luck finding a red gar. These guys are insane. The fifth fish on the list is the short bodied red tail catfish. Now this is a variety of the normal red tailed catfish that you can probably find at any exotic fish shop in your area. Only these guys have a way smaller body and they're actually hilarious looking in my opinion. I, I really want to keep one of these but they do get massive just like actual red tailed catfish. A lot smaller than the real red tail but they'll still get a foot to two feet long so that's a pretty damn big fish. You're going to need a pretty big tank for it. Uh, normal red tails will cost you about five to fifteen dollars, but one of these short body red tail catfish is going to run you six hundred and fifty dollars minimum, and that's a pretty tough purchase to buy. But if you have the balls to spend six fifty on a red tail gar, let me know and I will figure you in a video. <laughs> Believe that. The sixth fish on the list is the platinum bicher. 
This is a variety of a normal bicher, a very common fish you can find at any pet store. Only the platinum bicher is rare as hell. It gets about 18 inches long, but they aren't very active, so you only need about a 125 for one of these guys. And, I mean, this colorway is absolutely stunning. He'll stand out in any tank. He's unbelievable, impossible to miss. The only problem is it's going to cost you $1,000 minimum. And I don't know about you guys, but $1,000 for a fish is absolutely insane in my opinion. The seventh fish on the list is the bumblebee grouper. Now, if you guys watch a lot of fish tube content, I'm sure you've seen a bumblebee grouper in one of Nick Bingo's videos or maybe Joey Slam. I think he might have one. Uh, but these guys can get eight feet long, and I'm sure they haven't told you that because they don't want to let you know that these guys are going to outgrow their tanks by a lot. But uh, these guys have this really cool bumblebee pattern when they're young. And then when they get older, they end up looking a lot like a goliath grouper, which is another type of enormous grouper that lives in Florida. But let's be real, these groupers should probably not be kept in aquariums because any fish that can get 8 feet long, you gotta be a damn millionaire to keep that thing. It's literally like keeping a cow in, in an aquarium, it's just ridiculous. And it's going to cost $250 for a baby. I, I can't even imagine a large one. I don't think anyone wants to buy a large one. So it'll probably cost you a lot of money to get the large one out of your house. So uh, stay away from the bumblebee grouper. But they're a lot of fun to watch because they do live feedings. And they're pretty some pretty epic fish. Especially because they can live in salt water, brackish water, or fresh water. Just like the name of my channel. All three water conditions which makes them one of the few fish that can do that. The eighth fish on the list is the red rhinopius. Now, this thing is just absolutely insane. Sometimes it's called an orange Eschermeyer scorpion fish. It's a type of scorpion fish or, and a type of frog fish. And it has an insanely fast bite. It's an ambush predator, so it doesn't need much space. It'll kind of just hang out, try to camouflage out in the open. But, I mean, this thing can't do much camouflaging. Uh, they're really expensive. Some varieties can cost over a thousand dollars, but this red one really caught my eye and it's only three hundred dollars, which I mean, three hundred dollars is ridiculous. But hey, man, I, I would consider it one day. Help me. Help me get monetized, guys. Please leave a like on the video, please. The ninth fish on the list is the gold heart trigger fish. This is a saltwater fish. It is very aggressive, like most saltwater fish and most trigger fish. And interestingly enough, it only gets 9 inches at max, which is very small for a trigger. They do need about 150 gallon though because they swim around a lot, which makes them a lot of fun because they have insane patterns and uh, it's really just a hard fish to miss. Uh, they're impossible to breed in a tank because their young are so unbelievably tiny that they just get sucked up into the filter and immediately die. And it's also hard to get a baby one of these because they're really hard to take care of and they have a very high likelihood of dying in an aquarium. Beyond that though, it's going to be $200 to $300 to keep one of these. So my advice would be to get an adult that you know is healthy, that you know has been in captivity, and then from there you can introduce it to a reef tank or just a big saltwater aquarium that you have. And it's going to love doing live feedings and being a nice showroom fish. The last fish I have on the list is an absolutely insane monster. If you can land your hands on one of these, you are an expert aquarist. You are an absolute beast and your friends will love you for it. This is the Japanese dragon eel. Uh, this is just absolutely jaw dropping. I mean, look at the patterns. This thing has terrible eyesight, but it'll literally eat anything that fits in its mouth. It'll just go up and snatch up any fish. It'll literally just destroy invertebrates. And it will also jump out of your tank in an instant. They are insanely rare. I saw one of these at my local fish store about a year back. And it was being sold for $1,500. And it got sold pretty fast. Uh, on this website, I have found one for $1,000. But that is pretty, un I mean, let's be real. It's going to cost you like, what, 200 for shipping? So even with that deal, you're going to be paying 1200 for this minimum. And you're going to need a massive aquarium for it because these guys get so big. I mean, it's an average of 45 inches, but I've heard them getting up to 60 inches. And, I mean, it, it would be amazing to keep one. 
but this is going to be left for the absolute master aquarist. The owner of this tank had a small little split between the glass and the cover and well look what happens this thing literally just hops out of the tank and I can't even imagine picking this thing up and putting it back in it, the chances of it biting you are probably insane and that mouth is not anything I want to get anywhere close to me so if you guys like this list drop a like on this video tell me if you want more videos like this thank you so much for watching and I'm out